Yeah, you know who I am. I really should not explain who I am. Um, and tonight we are playing on the Ramblin' Railroad again. Honestly, it's fun. I enjoy it. Ramblin's a nice guy. And I'm hoping we can eventually do more on the server because personally, I'd love to show off my server. And that'll be in like a 22 minute video. Who knows? I'll show off my locations and my minis work and shit like that. You know, just, just something to get around. Anyways, um, so yeah, we're gonna... What's up, motherfuckers? All right. Okay, so I just went ahead and did an intro because I'm gonna be recording our session tonight. Um. So yeah, we're playing with Evil One and Poultry. Say hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Oh. All right. So the plan for tonight is uh, Toltry and I got a couple of trains ready, okay. almost ready, to head up to the refinery. Okay. So uh, refinery we'll was tonight. Yup. So, and this time, I'm getting lightning ready to hook up to one of these uh, cordwood cars. So, uh, um, we can bring back the wheelbarrows. I'm actually going to step away from the keyboard for just a second before we start going here, so I'll be right back, alright? Yeah, okay, not... Okay. Alrighty. Um, yeah, actually, after putting that FPS cap in, it actually let me join. I usually keep it at 30, so it works on multiplayer. I do max 60. The only time I ever get disconnected is if I'm loading lumber with the sawmill. Oh, there is a caboose in my face. That's not good. Oh, there's a cordwood car just freaking out. Like, I've got it on video, too. It's insane. Hopefully this episode isn't too long that I have to edit stuff out, because I don't want to have to edit too much out. Oh, that cordwood car just went flying. We can probably put like 10 hours of popcorning right before the update happens, just to document it all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm hardly ever on Discord, and when I am now, it's like I'm, I'm on the Ramblin' Railroad Discord. <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes sense. So... Um, like, for instance, what, Toltree, we were playing on my map the other night. Um, and we were up till, I think it was almost 2 a.m. Eastern, doing stuff on my map. Um, so, oil Great. refinery. Where are you guys at? Are you in yet? I am still in the middle of loading splines. I'm currently. I'm, the iron work. I'm sitting on the caboose you at the freight depot. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm at the freight depot. So that was you. Guys? That was you. I saw. Okay. Because yeah, I'm currently over here jumping around over by lightning. Yeah, I am currently sitting on the back end of the caboose. Spline stop loading. There's Toltry. I see ya. Yep. Splines have stopped loading for me. Toltry, did you see what I did? Down at the ironworks? Yeah, you loaded everything. Good job. <laughs> yep, Saves the hassle. Loaded, and I, I created that little sighting. Are, are we ready? Yep. I am. There's a piece of track here that looks sketchy. No, there's no sketchy track on this railroad. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Because <laughs> this track looks a little bit off center to me. <laughs> it's just this singular. Piece. Wait, we're, 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 we're joined now with Dolan, who is picking on me, and Toltry. Say hello, guys. Hey. Hello. Uh, so, they got perfect timing. They just showed up here at the uh, freight depot and decided to give me a hand running these trains that we've just been putting together. So. I think all of our switches are set if someone wants to take a 
take the controls all right back here on this uh, on this car. We only need one. We'll head down to the uh, ironworks. All right, so. All right, our switch is set. Switches should be set. All right, and here we go. Right. We are moving. This will definitely look better on your end. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe how much your guys is popping and, and banging around. That's incredible. Oh yeah, it was insane. So yesterday, day before, Toltree and I. Hello. Did you? Uh, are you still at the controls of the locomotive, or did you come back here and join us? Remember, guys, lightning summoned me from the hills. I just magically appeared. The American 440 okay, was anyway, calling. And I, we ran a couple of getting it all ready uh, for this episode today. So I think it was 16 cars toll train we ran. 17, I think. 17. I remember it was some odd number. number. Yeah, I was doing some research on banking locomotives, and apparently the narrow gauge portion of the Denver and Rio Grande Western would use swing engines that would um, pull, pull from the middle of the tr Are you kidding me? We already derailed. <laughs> well, I thought switches were set. <laughs> switches are never completely set. Just take that in mind. Yeah, right? You should probably pay attention to that. Alright, I got this one. Oh, I don't. I think if one, we're... We <laughs> Olin's cursed if he's driving the Eureka. Lightning in particular. And Dolan, can you pull lightning ahead a little ways further? I got I got the flat car, but I need space to drop it. Tinder's rolling the forward a bit. Is rolling towards you. Almost there. Capture. Perfect. Yeah, scoot ahead just a little bit. Please. Oh, 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 no. Oh, did it capture it? It did not. Can you back up just a little bit more? More, more, more. Stop. Perfect. Brakes off. All right, let's go. <laughs> it wouldn't be an episode without a good derailing. <laughs> Ain't that true. Let's just hope that was the uh, last time that happens tonight. <laughs> Don't jinx it yet. So anyway, told you you were saying. Toltry, are you sure you don't want us to slow down for you? Well, we're almost there. We're gonna stop right up here. He's not that far behind us. <laughs> yeah, I'm still catching up. Oh, there's the oil tankers. So, Dolan, anywhere in this area, if you want to go ahead and just stop. Please. I see you added a switch in. I did. I added a l nice little uh, siding over here, just to make it a little bit easier to, you know, get off the main line. So here I have Beast and Maverick. Maverick's got uh, five cars of the pipes, and Beast has got four lumber and four oil. Now I ran the calculations. And Beast can pull this 3% grade with 0.45, I believe, percent to spare. 
So basically it can't pull this grade. Maverick can pull it, but just barely. And of course Lightning can pull it. So Do you want to try what I was talking about before? What were you talking about before? So the locomotive in the front would be pulling their part of the train. Then a locomotive behind would pull the same amount, but one behind would help push the other one forward. Yes, exactly. There's a form so of a I was banker. Thinking Beast goes first. Yeah. Beast goes first, followed by Maverick, followed by Lightning. That, that, that would, would be interesting to see. It's... You're right. It would be the equivalent of a... Well... More or less... We're doing the equivalent of Super Rescue from... Of oh, Season 6? Or... Uh, well, Super Rescue... Now, that's Edward the Really Useful Engine, which is personally okay, my yeah, favorite. Okay, yeah, I got that's my, that's my favorite episode of Thomas and Friends, so... I guess... I guess we're doing... I guess we're doing... Uh, you know, this actually makes a whole lot of sense. Why? Because you've got two decently sized engines, and then you've got the... Uh, that are powerful, and you've got the weaker engine. This is literally the Thomas episode for the American Trains. Nice. <laughs> what a coincidence. So, this should get of us just the right amount to fill that one car that's hooked up to lightning with the oil barrels. How many do we got now? 20 up there. And this should give us another 26, which is 46, which apparently is one car, right? Correct. I don't know, I've be never right done this money. before. So we'll... <laughs> Me either. <laughs> so, uh, well, I'll, I guess I'll take, uh, I don't know. What, what, which one do you want to take, Toltree? I'll drive Maverick. You'll drive Maverick? Alright. I'll take Beast. Now, I don't think we need to couple them together, do we? We can just... i would be straight. safe to couple them. Okay. We can couple them. I'll get out on the main line and get close. I'll guess. meet you guys up at that switch. really being popcorned right now. Great. That makes it more exciting. <laughs> yeah. All right, I might have to do good. I'm going to go ahead and set my brake. Your first person is just going to be a little difficult to drive into. All the switches keep bouncing around. Did you already set your bar? It's got a brake. You did. Nice. Contact and linked. All right. Well, this is going to be exciting. <laughs> it's a very heavy train for as short as it is. One second. I am ready when you guys are. All right. Brakes off. Reverse forward. Full throttle. Just now starting the climb. We are bogging down. It's 
so, Beast is just now crest the hill. But what matters is that we're still going. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run ahead here and get switches too. So I left Beast at full power. Alright. Excellent job. Every time I look at the train, it looks like a caterpillar. The way it just moves about. It's like a wave goes through all the cars, just shakes everything up. So I am off the regulator now. Um, go ahead and start thinking about braking. We can leave lightning on this side for a few minutes. That's what we need to get loaded up here anyway. Let us know when you're cutting off the down. regulator. My regulator's already off. Mine's off now. I am actually not able to get in front and uncouple. Uh, yeah. Give me a second. Let's go ahead and break. Okay, I was able to uncouple. Okay, I'll pull Beast up. We'll put him down one of these sidings. So, on each... What are we going to do with the locomotive? <laughs> uh, that's go a ahead. good question. So, for the 20... <laughs> the 20 on each side... We have 20 on each side, but here's the thing. Does it count for both sides, or is it separate? Separate. So that means we've got a oh, total of... Oh, it is separate. Of, I thought it was... The... We've got a total of 40 here. I can go ahead and start loading. Do you happen to have any more cordwood cars that you'd like to use for oil though? I do. I got a whole bunch of them, but uh, they're not here. Should I take Maverick Obviously. down or Beast and get some if you want? Sure. Okay. That, that might make it a little bit easier to get rid of one of these locomotives. We've got one small way. problem. I think the track is too far but away. Nothing that can't be done. It's just light cars. It should be fine. I think by the time you guys get everything switched around, I'll be back in time to have all the cordwood cars ready for the oil bales. If you want to take it, I'll decouple you right now. Okay, should I just take Beast? Yeah. Okay. I'll go grab Slick and handle the rest of this train. We've got a problem, guys. What's happened? The track is too close or too far away from the platform. Ah, just figure. Oh no. I'll fix it real quick. I know the good solution. Just lost just lost four oil oil barrels. So that means we've only got four. Alright, do you want me to move? No. It's good. Okay. I'm scared. What's going on? I found out the solution just about a week ago. What's the solution? I'm curious. Is it using groundwork? Because if this works, yes, it, indeed. it is. If this works, then I'll be surprised, honestly. Just placed it. Try it now. Oh, weird. Okay. It does work. Oh, yeah. It's there. <laughs> awesome. It worked. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. That's all I got to say is it worked. That's the only thing that needs to happen is if it works. Now he won't have to move the track closer and he can keep his loop just how he made it. Exactly. Exactly. Ice even mentioned he doesn't like how how far away the track usually gets placed. And so they're talking about having track that is automatically placed when you load the game at Industries. Oh, that makes sense. I see Toltree running after the locomotive. That can't be good. Toltree, what'd you do? <laughs> Never mind my mishap. I'm just going to chase Beast to the oil field real quick. <laughs> I can't figure out how to put the, the platform or the like the stopper back up. Okay, now it's going to work. I'd say this is the only time I'm grateful that there's no speed. The can't, trains can't reach their top speed now. If that's 17, I can at least run at about 15 or 16 miles an hour. You are so screwed when the spline update comes out. Yes, especially with the Eureka. <laughs> Good news, I just managed to, <laughs> managed to save Beast. Nice. Good job. I only had the regulator at zero, so of course it was fine. Just managed to roll down the hill itself. Forward. Just coupled up to the beast's train. Slick and pull it, but just barely. <laughs> Let's get these oil tankers offloaded first. No sense in parking them full. It'll be a whole lot easier to move them. Alright, so I used yeah. all 36 of what we had, and 36 almost fills up the... fills up one half of a car. 
or a, like, no, like a half. It's either one half or almost three quarters of a car. Carrying 29. Yeah, it's 46. 46. Yeah, you can look at the car and it'll tell you because the values yeah. change. Just, um, I recently filled up my Cook Mogul's tender, thinking about how full Mavericks, even though he was recently purchased a while back, and he's been, been used a fair bit. Yeah. I think I filled him up. I filled up Beast and him at the smelter station when I was doing all that grinding. Uh, I can't seem to move. I am stuck. I'll get... So... I'll do you want me to come forward and give you a bump? No, I need to go backwards. I'm just going to offload what I have lined up. Just, that'll make me lighter than I can... I will definitely say, adding a passing track around where the... Uh... But when I made this, I wasn't actually planning on multiplayer because I didn't think it was possible. <laughs> Alright, you need to back up, please, just a little bit. i got to actually back up two car lengths. Okay. Poultry, how you doing? Pretty good. Oh, I'd really like to move. Do I have a brake on somewhere? I'll check. Could you be out of steam pressure? Like my third time. Nope. I got full steam pressure. I just suddenly cannot move. Yeah, all brakes on the tankers are off. Yeah. Yeah, I got full pressure. Huh. It's just too heavy to go in reverse. That's not good. <laughs> I'd say go ahead and go ahead and move the lumber cars into position. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. You got the are you in the locomotive? No, I am not. But I nope. Oh. Nope, I got it. Okay. I'll make sure those switches are set. Which they should awesome. be. Alright, let's switch that. That one. And that one. And that one. And that one. Okay, we're good. And I'm pretty sure the switches were set when full tree left. Do you get the little cars? Yeah. So, I definitely would suggest a runoff track that stays at level ground before hitting this bridge. Because once you hit that bridge, depending on how much Slick can move. <laughs> Alright, you're good to stop. Break set. And reverse her back. Yep, move it back. We can only get two of these cars offloaded, right? Well, I guess we can, yeah. Yeah, you can... I we'll think... offload these two and then take them off. And... I think we can do three at that. Alright, one car is at the platform. Go ahead and start unloading. All right, bring it back. Personally, I will say if the car just derails, we'll fix it. Yeah. Uh, I have one question. Mm -hmm. Where are the cordwood cars? They should be on the track. Uh, right. Freight Depot. I'm not seeing them. All right. Uh, there's four or five of them there. Uh, they're on the short side. Oh, those are the steel pipe cars. Uh, I just took one of the cordwood cars from north north side, the other side, not the side with the caboose. Oh, okay. All right. Bring it back, evil one. Bring it back. About half a car. Bring it back. Okay. Uh, bring it back just a little more. Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> I am at full regulator, and it is not moving. That's because a car, okay, a derail car derailed. Let me let me fix that. I yeah. can see the cordwood cars now. They're just out of my viewing distance. Oh, gotcha. All right. More? Are you? Yep, you're good to go. I'm loading the car now, since you technically you can move while unloading cars, and I'll still pick it up. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. You can stop. Full send. <laughs> I love how it stopped perfectly with the edge of the platform. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uncouple the car. I just uncoupled. Uh, bring it forward so I can rerail the other cars. Oh. Okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, because I'll just reload him in front of these two if you want me to. Or you can take yeah. these forward, or however it works. Does that give me enough room? Uh, uh, move forward just a little bit. Alright, we'll drop that one. Throw the brake on it, because I don't want to... Oh, I see what we're working on. Okay, I got what you're doing. It's enough just to work. Just to make things work. It's still floating. There it goes. <laughs> I'll just throw, All right. I'll just throw I'll a break on it. this one. Alright. I'll back up. Awesome. Going forward. Alrighty. Take the brake off. Now I'll just park these down one of those sightings. And I'll hook up to those oil tankers and try to get those last two offloaded. I just attached to the Coldwood cars and I'm on my way up. Awesome. We might be done by the time you get here. Might be done. <laughs> That's good timing then. You can bring it back. All right. Bring I open. Back. I open that first switch so you can go into the longest track. Just had a regulator glitch thing. It now happens. I'm coming back. If you want, let me hop on that train, and I'm going to uncouple, and so you can stop with Slick. Go ahead and attempt to stop with Slick, and I'm going to uncouple. Yep. I got full brakes. See ya. Right. <laughs> and I'll just, I'll just work at it from here. Yep. Good plan. Kind of kick it off. All right. Up and stop there. Coming in hot. Uh oh. Yeah, just get, just give it a bump. Just give it a bump. That's all you need. These things are so heavy. It doesn't help that I think two of the brakes are on. Or no, nope. hold on. I think it was just one brake. When you bumped it, there was at max. Yeah, okay. So we got. I think there's one brake on the front. All right. I think you should be good to stop. That brake. Oh, that brake is not set. All right, stop. It right. worked. Okay. Offloading. And then all that needs to left to be loaded is the pipes. Yep. And I'll will get that... these moved off if you want to start. Go oh ahead. yeah, I'll go ahead and bring these all these pipes forward. Yep. And turn off some brakes here. The brakes should all be off. Well, I set one, and then the other one was like at 37 or something like that. Oh, you're pushing me. <laughs> Who needs steam power? <laughs> it's going by magic. Totally. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and apply your brakes. That way you don't foul the line. I'll back them down. 
Uh oh. They're pushing me, even though they're unloaded. Have you started? Or you've started on the slope. So yeah, close to just that. Just a little bit. That's so close to the being at, uh, just an accident waiting to happen. Yeah. Oh, I know. All right, can you back up just a little bit? Yeah. Oh, there you are. <laughs> just let you go around the past. Ooh. Just gonna try and drive in first person, but that ain't happening. Um, I think when I'm back past the frog in the switch, you should be able to flip the switch. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's a little early, but you didn't derail. You jumped around a little bit. But... All right. So we can probably just use Maverick to offload those, right? Do we, or do we need to use Slick? We can probably use Maverick. Okay, your switch is set. I'm actually overloading oil barrels at the moment. Oh, gotcha. Alright, I'm offloading some pipes. So, Toltree's way of trying to make this work is no longer working now. Oh no, what happened? Uh oh. Is it just right. still rolling off now? Yeah, they just started more or less not going into the car. I was able to get one out of 20 of them. Oh no. So we just lost roughly, what, the 13 that were here? We, there were seven here. And then 20, there was... We roughly lost 26. 26 oil barrels. Wow. I don't know what happened, but wow. apparently, apparently Beast is struggling to pull four cordwood cars up here. I think you it's just the pot. boiler pressure. Oh. Not sure what's going on. Okay, I think I found a solution. One of the Regulator was at 17. Oh. <laughs> That'll do it. Yeah, serves me right for trying to use the first person regulator. What is your location told? You should just about see me pull up around the bend here on the bridge. I will stop. I don't want to foul the line and I'll set your switch to go around to, to the oil barrels. I got it. Okay. You got it? Yep. I gotta offload two more cars using Maverick. Wah wah. Over no, this is fine. Okay. I'm gonna take the main line behind you then. Okay. I don't know why the platform's just not working anymore. It's just not. Well, that seems to be working. It's working now. <laughs> I'm gonna <Huh>. fight. <laughs> I'm gonna become. If they give a chance for this game to be VR, you choose now of all times to work, and you were making me look like a <laughs> fool before. Game, why do you do this? <laughs> That's so cool watching them roll in there, though. Yeah. Definitely. You want to back up lightning? Curious about how this is gonna work. Um, we got a total get the rest of, of these. A total out of what? It's we got one more oil barrel besides that one. Forty-two is what we had. Or Forty-three. I can 43 line this up better if you need. Yeah, I should be able to back up and get it. The only problem with this was the whole fact that we did not get enough. It just didn't want to oh, load we the lost cars. Twenty-six. Hey, um... Okay. Toll tree for a moment. I couldn't see the cordwood cars, and then I was like... Did they just disappear? Links might need set on them. Yeah, I got it. Oh. There we go. Did you turn the brake off, too? Uh, no, the brake is set however you set it. Okay, I only set the one. first one. Okay. Yeah, you should be good. Alright, I'm gonna put more fuel in lightning, because... I need 
it. I just fixed the groundwork for the oil barrel, so hopefully it all works now. You fix it again? Yes, I just brought it a tad bit closer. Oh, gotcha. Well, unfortunately we don't have any more components up here to make more oil barrels. I guess it's gonna be a sh <laughs> Oh no. I mean... <laughs> Short episode today, so I guess. It is what it is. Yeah, well, we can take these back and sell them. We gotta take all these trains back and get ready for the next run, I guess. We need to couple up to these ones. I really hope this doesn't derail. Ah, now it's perfect. We're good. Alright, is the track set to go back? No, not yet. I'm still over here switching around. Can somebody come over here and grab Slick and park him back in the shed, please? I can do that. That's actually about what I was expecting anyway, so... Because I, I didn't realize that uh, both sides counted. Uh -oh. Well! Didn't see that. <laughs> so yeah, just uh -oh. leave the switch. Uh, just try and re-rail Slick. So whoever's in Maverick can bring Maverick back. Oh, hi, Slick. Yeah, there we go. Your slick goes out of the way now. All right, I'm gonna hop over here. Oh shoot! Yeah, move forward. I'll get that switch. All right. Bring her back. Do you know if there's still a link in the back of this? I don't. There is. By the car, your brain coming in a little hot. But we're good. The brakes slowed you down. You were able to couple up, and you know, honestly, I guess we'll. What? We could just have one locomotive bring all bring back all the cars, honestly. Well, the other locomotive's got to go back anyway, right? So yeah, might as well true. bring Beast over here and hook it up to the tankers. I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the freight depot. If the switches are set, at okay. least. Just don't, just don't sell them until I, uh, until I get there. Right. I want to see how much it gets me. Are all the switches set? I have no idea. Since lightning's moving very slowly, I'll go ahead and get the one in front of me. All right. Number two, I'm gonna go ahead and have you stop right there. Come on, the visible train. The visible train. <laughs> no invisible train tonight. At least we didn't have any derailments when we did it last time. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, I derailed. You derailed in, uh, in the yard, but not on up the hill. Yeah. <laughs> Will that be part of this upcoming episode? Yeah, I got it all edited. I just have to uh, render it out and then upload it. I'll probably do that tonight after uh, I log off of here. So it'll go live in the morning. Awesome. I'll probably work on this video before, I want to say probably, probably Tuesday before I go to work because I don't go in until 4. So I'll wake up at 11, work on the video till about 3.30, head to work, and then when I come home, 
If it's not complete, then I'll work on it when I get home. So, what, when are you looking at uh, making it go live, roughly? Probably Wednesday. Wednesday? Okay. Yeah, because I still gotta upload. We'll shoot for Wednesday then. Okay. Cause... So, you and Toltree have an episode together, and then there's another episode that we're in, I'm guessing. That we're both in. That'll come out. Or is it the episode that... Yes, this one. Okay. So this episode starts off with just me by myself, getting these trains ready. And then you guys show up, and we take them up there and offload them. Okay. So... I've got about an it's hour like and a half. perfect timing for you guys. Uh, yeah, I've been recording for... Looks like a... I can't really see my timer. It's hit by Discord. Uh, it looks like it looks like it's a little over an hour. I remember my hotkey for recording, so I'll never have to worry about that. That's still amazing, though. I mean, you guys are on the other side of the country, and we're, we're playing trains together like we're in the same room. And this new spline update will make it even better. I'm really excited for it. I just have to start all over again. Yeah, it's the only downfall with the whole thing. Hey, but at least when you eventually choose to start over, if if some of the stuff don't apply to what we've currently got in the game, then you may, if it if it does apply to most of it, I mean, you could probably just relay track and be just fine. We'll put you on lane. We're going to put you on lane four, and then we'll put... We'll put Toll Tree on lane five. Now. Okay. Good to go into your lane. Have a full break. We're back here at the freight depot. Dolan was kind enough to bring the lightning with the oil barrels on board. Toltree is in Maverick, coming alongside me here. Break set. Ooh. About an hour and a half of footage, about an hour and 40 minutes. I'll be able to cut it down. Nice stop. <laughs> All right, let's go sell this. First off, let's take a look at how much we have. I'm twenty-two thousand two hundred and nine dollars. Let's go sell these. Let's see what we end up with. You guys ready? Before we do anything, though, oh, we're rolling, but I'm gonna go ahead and save it for the first time in the last two hours. I will Probably go ahead and good, set this break. I'm pretty sure the break idea. is set. The break is set. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Holy Whoa. The sump <laughs> is, is the reg on? The reg is on for some reason. I, I turned it off. How dare you. I didn't shake anymore. I just turned some brakes on. So here we go, let's let's sell these. It's the first time I've sold anything at the Freight Depot in months. There it goes. It's interesting how they unload. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's 40 bucks a barrel. I got the, the funds counter. It's $40 a barrel? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, that looks about right. And there goes the last one. So we ended up with $23,929. Well, I think that's going to wrap up this episode. Thank you guys again so much for helping out today. I honestly could not do this one without you. Before we say goodbye, how many parting words, Dolan? Um, I guess just look out for my video when it comes out on Wednesday, which should be the day that awesome. you're seeing this. Do. So. And poultry? Don't trust me to fix your refinery. You already lost 26 barrels. Got for That's a point. That's alright. You know, it's, it's, it's all fun, right? So, yeah. not like we're really hurting for money here at the Ramblin' Railroad anyway, so... Alrighty, well that's gonna do it for this one. Please remember to check out our Discord if you haven't done so already. Uh, we got some great conversations going on over there. And uh, 
hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so, and we'll catch you on the next one. Have a great night. Bye for now. My recording is stopped. Uh, alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end mine here. Um, and as you heard, yeah, that's practically the end of this video. I have no words, honestly. Um, it is 2 a.m. here, and I am what you call exhausted. I have to clean out a car tomorrow, and that's about it. Yeah, so this is Dolan. I will see you guys all in the next video. And stay amazing, I guess. I'll see y'all later.